We start. We started a journey on this uh, youth centers of excellence yesterday. From Dennis Potter, where is here for the manifesto check. Which region was this? This was in what? Yes, so we were in Upper East yesterday, specifically in Avrongo, where Navrongo. we saw that the center has been abandoned, even though progress has been made. Um, it's not completed yet. I Chiefs see. are calling, people are calling. They are looking forward to the, uh, the vice president's promise that it will be completed before December. So that was where we left off that conversation last night. But we are still staying on this because um, huge investments have gone into this, mm -hmm. at least at the minimum. I mean, the last one that was commissioned, that's the Koforidio one. It, it cost us 1.8 million US dollars. 1.8 million dollars. The one we are going to talk about today, which is the Kaneshi, which is in the Greater Accra region. This popularly called the Azuma Nelson Sports Complex. Mm -hmm. It was to cost us 4 million US dollars to construct this. No, but and mind you, see, you, this is a multi purpose structure. Absolutely. But this uh, Azuma Nelson Sports Complex was e existing, it was yes. there previously before. Because I recall, we used to go for some sports events. For those of you who lived in that area, I mean, along the line, we hear people who recount memories of how they've had to train to learn how to play certain kind of sports around that place. But yeah. for some reason, it was one of those projects that were going to be given a facelift and then, I mean, turned into a modern structure. So what are we seeing on the screen now? So that is the current stage of the... state. This of the, is the okay. Azuma Nelson Sports Complex? Yes. That's it. That's it. I mean, that these are visuals like a, that we got yesterday. It looks like a forest. Well, with, with, with buildings in there. But if you look in there, you would notice that there were structures coming up. So you can see the stands, you can see some structures in there. An attempt was made to construct it, but I mean, the story behind its um, current state, you just cannot understand what's happening. No, is it what? At the point, there's a contractor who is there who says that. Um, he found that there was a drain who was supposed to pass somewhere and he tried to divert it. There's also a conversation from the National Youth Authority that says that the contractor was supposed to do some things that he didn't do, for which reason they were considering to terminate his contract. I mean, whatever the narrative is, I do not think that it has to be left in this stage. This is Especially the... so when we have invested so much money into this. Many people look up to this because people in this area, this is where they go to... Absolutely. And you look at how Accra is being concretized on a daily basis. If you have a sports complex, and, and Dennis... Not and to think that this is the in the heart of Accra... And, and this is Kanechi. Yes. And... Just around the industrial area, close to yeah. TV Africa, Charter House. You know, you, and, and, and look at... And look at something water down the person, okay, who's, who's named after this, or this place is named after... We're talking about Azuma Nelson. Yes. And this, this is... Named after him. The legacy I mean, at the point, to give to there were, there, there, were, there were rumors that he actually wanted to disassociate his name from the project because it has been left for so uh, long without... Absolutely, because if you look at... Nobody paying attention to it. Right now. And guess what? The National Youth Authority, and uh, whose purview this project is, actually has an office right there. Like, their office is just right by that particular fact, piece. I think it's in the video. Let's look at the video again. I, yes. I saw the National Youth Authorities. Exactly. Office. That is where they are situated. And I don't know how the CEO of the National Youth Authority goes to work every day. He looks at this project, knowing that this is something that I'm supposed to do. It has been captured in our budgets. I mean, sorry, in our manifesto to be delivered. In fact, the promise made with this that they were supposed to be delivered nine months after the commissioning. And when 2018. Was this so was commissioned I, in 2018? Yes. Like the project started in 2018. So that's, that's the National Youth Authority. Facilitating Youth Development. Yes. Azuma Nelson Sports so. Complex. And we, we, so, so every morning when this person goes to, to work, they see it. No, no, nothing pricks your, your conscience. We, 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 what do we feel about this? Admittedly. Saying this. There may be issues, but whatever the issues may be, it does not warrant that we have this structure left in there like this. And to think that this is not the only structure, when I show you what has become of the whole youth sports uh, center as well, it's pretty much like what we saw in Navrungu. There's another one in the Bono region, another in Axim. Ten of them, like I mentioned, it's only one that has been commissioned and put to use. Uh, and now, this came up just last month. And guess what the minister said? The, this is the sports minister. This is what the sports minister said. And this was on July 24 at the press briefing. The minister said... 
we had challenges with some of them regarding payment to the contractors. Some of them, I dare say, the some of them will be nine out of ten. Wow. I must admit, but because the contractors have not handed over the projects officially to us, we can't go and use them because we have not commissioned no, them. But what are you going to commission? Is, is this Azuma Nelson's post complex, the, the state in which it is in now? Bottom line is money. And because what? You haven't paid the contractors. Yes. So, so when you look at the narrative from all the places that we have seen, at least the Narungo one, for instance, yeah. the narrative behind is that the contractor was not paid. He left the site and locked the place up. Attempts were made to award the contract to another person. That did not happen. When you look at the narrative in um, the one in Ag Ag Agzim, in fact, mm -hmm. those, the one in Agzim, the youth actually demonstrated to demand that the project be commissioned. I see. The explanation given there was that there were also issues with the contractor. These two, Is it according to Pius, according to uh, uh, Pius mm -hmm. Enam, Ajide, who is the CEO of the National Youth Authority. Yeah. He also alludes this, the stalling of this project to issues that they have with the contractor. In fact, he's on record to have said that because there was a tender committee of the sports, committee, uh, sports ministry that had done an audit and, to and they found out that some things that were supposed to be done by the contractor were not done, they were considering terminating that particular contract with that contractor. I see. But be that as it may, we do not need to have the structure in the state that we see it like this. In fact, we're just getting information from one of our viewers that there's one in a Hunter West. The, the Hunter West one, we understand, the, it's a bare land, nothing is happening. All of them. Let, let's let's, let's so, take a look at them one more time. We want to thank you so much. Um, All of them are We have here. very active viewers on, on Ghana tonight who give us this information and, and what's going on. But some people have some thoughts to share yes, with us about this exactly let's hear from them it's quite a worry take a look family and their friends to have fun but now everything has changed we really really benefited from the sports complex yes because that was where i learned how to play long tennis i learned swimming we had basketball players around we had handball we had um karate we had all the activities and even we had schools around. So this was the main place that we normally come to do our intersports activities. But today, here we are, even the whole community, we don't have a place that we can even come and do sports. It is killing dreams because a lot of the children love sports and they are talented. We had the Francophori who learned how to play tennis here. Francophori was a, a ball boy and he happens to be my elder brother. He started from the sports complex. As a ball boy, today he is the legend of long tennis in Ghana. Complex, for almost 10 and a half years to get it to 14 years. I'm a fit stadium, I'm a youth New York area, I'm a I'm a chomo, Julio, I'm a wish, I went a computer brazi. Got a chef in Luku, Yale and where I come and walk a cake because he got a cache every year complex. I come on another chair or not premier player too. What's this man who just ended with us is saying is that because of the state of this Azuma Nelson sports complex, yeah. the young men there are getting to all sorts of vices, the, the young women as well. And then also, to the extent that we had at least two Premier League players being produced from there. And I'll tell you what, I played football on that field sometime in, in the year 2000. I, you know, I played for the Achimota Primary GSS um, school team. I yeah. heard a lot about that. Yeah, that's true. Once upon a time, you were the captain of your team. Absolutely. That's just by the way. It's so a sad one. These are 10 of them, one out of the way. We keep our eyes on the rest to see what happens in the coming days. Kanishi, Ho, Kofaido, Axim, it goes on and on and on. Thank you. Dennis Pabari, well done. Appreciate you.